is okay take temperature okay heather okay i'm sweating okay write in english what is this okay all right doing okay look at on your screen a fever is when our body temperature increases because of infection see another slide a normal body temperature is about 37 celsius we all are familiar with this c if you have a fever it can rise 40 celsius or more let's talk about your chapter please stay with me okay here is the next question have you ever had a fever write in the chat box have you ever had a fever write your answer in the chat box yes yes it's we are human being it's possible maybe sometime in a form of a viral infection or sometime due to some other infections see the next question how did you feel how did you feel how did you feel what are the feeling yes write your answer in the chat box don't raise your hand write your answer in the chat box sign for on yes okay okay see how long did it last how long did it last maybe sometime one day sometime two sometime in the morning or maybe in the night you were feeling good look at on your screen look at on your screen look at the photos below and discuss what you think the text is about first i want you to look at the picture and tell me what is this yes write down the name of the yes okay okay what is malaria let's learn about it what is malaria malaria is a serious and sometimes fatal disease caused by a parasite that commonly infects a certain type of mosquito which feeds on humans feeds on human body let us the next information people who get malaria are typically <clears throat> very sick with high fevers shaking chills and flu like illness Let's learn more about some facts of malaria. Malaria is a very serious disease which infects 300 to 500 million people. Remember the quantity: 300 to 500 million people every year. It is more most common in hot tropical countries. In the america asia and africa one person dies every second from malaria 
keep this information in your mind okay look at the next picture what is showing what is showing hurry up write your theory in the chat box what is this what information you are getting from this picture yes meanwhile look at on the page number 22 and the second heading what causes malaria let's learn about it what causes malaria see information is coming let me read for you a lot of mosquitoes in hot tropical countries carry a parasite which causes malaria when a mosquito bites a person the parasite can get into the blood you can see in the picture they don't need to infect much blood to make someone very ill small bite is enough for the infection see a next picture yes yes what is this what are you thinking about the picture what is showing to you yes see what are the symptoms of malaria see with normally people feel high fever sweating headache nausea vomiting diarrhea pneumonia muscle pain chills and fatigue these are the symptoms which are normally showing in infected people who are suffering with malaria see look at the picture yes what do you understand about it what is it what people are doing yes see how can we stop people getting malaria although there are plenty of vaccine which protect us from diseases remember the information although there are plenty of vaccine which protect us from diseases there is no vaccine for malaria yet so all families need to sleep under mosquito net you can see a one baby and a one adult they are sleeping which are treated with chemicals that make the mosquitoes stay away these are some fluid can you can see in the picture how can they save their cells from malaria even though some charities are also working on it and they are providing this net to those people who are living in those areas like in america asia and africa read the text look at on the page number 23 from your book page number 23 from your book statement uh, first number 3 read the text are sentences 1 to 6 true or false let me check your knowledge i have shared a lot of information about malaria let's check ourselves see the first statement malaria is unusual in hot tropical countries i don't know you heard the information 
from me. So just tell me it is right or wrong, true or false. Keep your answer with you or in the right in the chat box. Number two, malaria is a deadly disease. Number three, mosquitoes carry a parasite which causes the disease. Number four, a high temperature is a symptom of malaria. There are a lot of vaccines which prevent malaria. Mosquito nets help stop malaria infection. So tell me with the right theory, with the right answer, which statement is true or which statement is false. Write down your answers in the chat box. Malaria is unusual in hot tropical country. Three. This is false. So what is the right information? Malaria is usually. Because they are indicated tropical countries. Second statement. Malaria is a deadly disease. See, yes, it's true. Next. Mosquitoes carry a parasite which causes the disease. Yes. A high temperature is a symptom of malaria. See, it's true. There are a lot of vaccines which prevent malaria. As the writer said, there are a lot of vaccines, but still there is no malaria vaccine yet. Mosquito nets help stop malaria infection. Everybody knows it's true. I hope it is clear up to now. Show me the sign of thumbs up. Then I'll start the next activity with you. Yes, if it is clear to everybody. Yes, give me your sign. Give me your beautiful signs of thumbs up. Yes. I'm waiting. Okay, Marisa. Shikane. Take my door, raise your hand, beta. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's start. Three. Page number one is three. Statement. Question number four. Statement four. Use of English. Look at your book. It is in the blue box. Quantiple. A quantiple expresses a quantity which tells us about how much or how many. You have read this topic already in class 3. In class 3. When you were a student of a class 3, the same information you have already got it. So it's a review. Listen very carefully and use your prior knowledge, use your previous knowledge and enhance your memory. Let's start it. Example, see, I have a few books. Number of books, we don't know. Which element is showing to us a quantiple few? Maybe four, five, six, we don't know exactly. How I know how many books you have? The word few. See next. Do you have any time for a party? It's not a specific time. See next. Do we have few friends? Maybe your group is based on five people. Or a six people, maybe ten people. See, next, we have no money. We have no money. Maybe still I have a ten rupee in my pocket. And I'm saying we have no money. 
So maybe the worth of the 10 rupee is nothing. See, look at the picture. Look at the picture. It's just an uh, example. The first is bread, a lump of bread. It's just a whole piece. We don't know how many pieces we will get. Look at the jar of honey. Think short in a very easy way. We can say it is half quarter, but in the quantity, we don't know. Maybe 10 grams, maybe 50 grams. So in short, we can say a jar of honey. Chocolate bar. How many boxes in the whole bar of chocolate? I don't know. Orange juice, see. Water. Cereal, milk. And so, see here, Quantifers is having further three types, countable noun and uncountable noun. Countable nouns are those nouns which can be easily count. Let me read the statement for you. A countable noun is a noun can be modified by a numeral, a numeral and that occurs in both singular and plural form. Examples are few or many. You can see. If somebody said to me, okay, no me, let's count the slices of bread. I can easily count. Maybe in one bread, 12 pieces. 12 slices, 14 slices. Or if someone said to me, okay, no, we tell me how many pieces in the one bread. Without counting, I don't know. It is a whole number. It is a whole number. So two slices, I can easily tell them it is a countable number. A pack of a milk. On your screen, it is a one pack. It's easy for us to count. Bunch of grapes. We can easily count eggs, cans of Coca Cola, bars of chocolate. We can easily. Let us the next uncountable noun. Uncountable noun is plural. They have no singular forms with the same many and cannot be used with numbers. How many examples are much, little, or some, and any? Three. Look at the picture of a cheese. What do you say? It's a little cheese? Or some cheese is left? Exactly, we don't know how much is in a quantity, but a whole piece is in front of us, so we can say a little or a sum. Yes, look at the tea. Look at the cup with tea. Yes. Take both. Some tea in the cup. I didn't say to them or a person two sip, one sip, three sip. I just say, please pour some tea in my cup. Look at it here, both quantical. Both can be used with plural and uncountable nouns on its own, or it can be followed by of, like a plenty of, a lot of, with or without an article. Example, some, no, a lot, of, and plenty, etc. This is a table. It's a table for both. See. 
both quantifiers are available on your screen like enough i have enough food with me exactly we are not saying one chapati or two chapati one egg two egg no we don't know i said i have enough food for myself and look at all all of you please be with me i'm pointing to all of you so maybe 51 students are here 60 are here 70 are here i'm using for all more most less least no none any some plenty of lots of these are the quantifiers which we can use for both quantifiers okay see choose the correct alternate okay exercise 1 now write your answer in the chat box look at the first six statement have we got any or a little honey jar in the fridge yes which one any or a little yes write your answer in the chat box hariya hariya next there is a like little or many ice cream so which option is suitable what do you think which one is perfectly perfectly matched with ice cream number 3 have we got any or a few cheese in the fridge we haven't got a little any apples in the basket there are a little or a lot of children in the garden you are a visible people great smart students i'm hearing with in this class so i know you can easily write like the correct answer or the correct option for me sandy has got a few a lot of money in the bank amit is there a few animal in that bottle so then how many much quarters of apple juice is or are there in the fridge they have got a few a little cats in their garden there are or is a little remain ice cream in the box let me share my answer with you see have we got a little honey jar in the fridge number 2 there is a little ice cream have we got any cheese in the fridge we haven't got any apples in the basket there are a lot of children in the garden sandy has got a lot of money in the bank Amit is there? Any milk in that bottle? So Zain, how many bottles of juice is there in the fridge? They have got a few cats in the garden. There are many ice cream cones in the bowl. I hope it is clear. Please give me a sign. Give me a go ahead. So I'll go for the next exercise. Hurry up. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Choose the correct word. See, this is exercise two, and it's your homework. Write down your diary, please. Write down your diary. Exercise two is your homework. Choose the correct word. Please write your diary. Hurry up! I'm watching. Write your diary. I'll leave your message in the chat box that you have done. Doubt me. Write your diary, beta. Abu Bakr Zishan, you too. Start writing. Yes. 